We are delighted to hear that the European Commission has announced a Green Deal that will be the signature initiative of the European Commission between 2019 and 2024. One of the key components of this Green Deal is a new sustainable food policy that is called the Farm to Fork Strategy. And this is hugely important because how we produce and consume food can have a decisive impact on the ecological footprint we have, on the ability for small-scale farmers to survive in an increasingly competitive environment, and on the health of the consumers in a context in which in the EU obesity rates are growing and associated non-communicable diseases are costing about 80% of the healthcare costs in the EU. So we are delighted that the European Commission has now taken seriously the message from civil society that we need a sustainable food policy for the EU. In fact, between 2016 and 2019, some 400 actors of food systems across the EU have been working together with the International Panel of Experts on Sustainable Food Systems, IPES Food, in order to put forward a series of some 80 proposals to move to a healthy, sustainable food system. And that was the result of a series of seminars, roundtables, uh, missions in different cities, in which we understood the huge demand of the European public for a different food system, one that can respect the ecosystems, that can support the health of communities, and that can provide um, a good, adequate remuneration for the farmers on whom we depend. Our demand is that the uh, European Commission launches a sustainable food policy that is trans-sectorial, that covers not only the new common agricultural policy, but also health, the environment, employment, social protection, and that incorporates in this broad approach the question of trade, our external trade policies should be much better aligned with the transition towards sustainable and healthy food systems at home. So we hope that this sustainable food policy shall be based on this um, common food policy proposed by European civil society, that it will lead to a much more coherent approach to food production and consumption, and that uh, this will be a policy accountable uh, to the public um, and much more democratic than it has been in the past.